up? What's up, people? Oh, have you been? I'm doing fine, thank you, brother. Obviously, cardio plus workout. What up, poo? Cardio is saluted. Did legs two days ago and I'm still feeling them. I'm still feeling them. The glutes, the quads, the hammies, baby, please. And of course, the calves. Oh boy. Happy birthday to Genova. Oralifu. A lot of people ask me why I post a lot about Jason. The fact of the matter is, it is him who sent me those kind of, of posts and tell me, bro, please share them. So he, he always contacts me and tell me to share his stuff. Sometimes, several times a day. But how westernized are Algerians or Moroccan women? I don't know, man. I did not mingle with Algerian or Moroccan chicks since 1997, maybe. Yeah, 22 years ago. That was <laughs> a lifetime ago. <laughs> I have no expertise in them. Jason is natural. He only consumes Zarms. How many times do you train? He's train legs weekly, once. Once a week. When did they start bodybuilding? Lifting? Around 1990, so. It made 29 years ago. Time flies, eh? Flies by, bro. Yep, 29 years of lifting. I'm grateful to sit here. Here we What's some good ways to dial in mindset to try? Motivation, brother. Motivation. What can I tell you? You were born in 1990. I was lifting, bro. What's up, Australia? Kangaroo, marsupials. Any thoughts on big Grammy competition? No, no thoughts. Kajid. Yeah, we're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at it more. I look 29. Thank you. I think I'm, I think I'm. I'm in better shape compared to when I was 29. Definitely in better shape. And I'm more diligent. And as Jason Genova says, frankly, I think I'm in my prime. With all due respect, humbly, I think I'm in my prime. My favorite workout, all of them. I love back, today was back. But I love all of them, all of them. Ireland in the house, let me see. Are you redhead? Maybe. Me, I lose zero in Ramadan, zero pounds. I maintain. Ramadan Karim, bro. I'm training three times a week, three to four times a week. What's up, Kim? Kim, hard to assume, hard to assume your gender. I just found out I had back problems, disc. What should I do? Listen to your physician, brother. That's not my expertise here, please. But don't worry. Usually all lifters have back problems at one time or the other. I did have my issues with my back and thankfully it's fixed. Now I don't me do. Thank you, Omar. Shukran, Kim. كيف تتكلم اللغة العربية؟ إن شاء الله. كشيف أحمد. We say Ramadan, not Ramazan. لكن Ramadan كريم قبل أسف. Thank you, Omar. Oh, cardio. Cardio is to be saluted. If I stop doing cardio for two weeks, bye bye abs. Why about everything actually? Even my stamina at the gym will not be saluted. I feel like crap. Ahla Zalma. Shokran Dani. Do 
بی فاس یا ای فاس بچو خو یا مارکو سخور تایم و مغوک کباب تایم الله یبارک بارک الله و فیک بی مارکو ها آخرن دیو دو کاردیو 3 to 4 times a week post workout اما پرافر واتو با سام سر سانچز سلام خوزه خوزه از مای سان از مای فول سان هر هر فو I think he's one of the biggest fools I trained, Jose. Thank you, Mido. God bless you, brother. Mido, I can probably say that you are Egyptian because Mido name is quite popular in Egypt. Yeah, I moved, uh, Clark. It's done. It was kind of hectic, but it's done, thank God. Have you tried veggie meat? I tried some veggie pate and things like that, but tried that's it I'm not gonna consume it on a daily favorite cheat <laughs> I didn't cheat since 2017 so no favorite cheats anymore hola vato loco do you eat strictly halal yeah what about you why do you eat halal just during Ramadan you eat halal all the time or not how much cardio for me about 15 minutes one five what I mean any ballot and in Canada any Ramadan train advice? Business as usual. Business as usual. But train after iftar though. Do not train before. I don't suggest training without water in your system. Same goes with cardio. Do it after you eat. Yes, I'm half Egyptian. Alexandria, baby, please. Al Askandaria. نعم عزوز طبعا سبحان الله از كندا سلوشد يا سيري سلوشد هاي سلوت كندا you are cool and honest about your training thank you brother it's my job if I wasn't honest I would not align all these kind of success stories you can see them I'm honest with them and they're honest with me that's why they succeed Two burn out after work? Didn't mean when I used to work, my best training was after the job. It's like when I have like one hour to go in the job, I, I can't wait but to take my pre-workout and go to the gym. For me it was kind of an incentive. Yeah. Shamim, yeah. And that's all in Kuntsaim fi 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 nahar like an an أنا ما بعض الإفطار الساعة الآن حوالي الحادي عشر ليلا كنت صائم شكرا عزوز بارك الله فيك داني get your back fixed and come back to train كيف أنت تعلمت العربي سبحان الله this guy is asking me how I learned Arabic dude I was born in Algeria what's wrong with you <laughs> Everybody speaks Arabic there. <laughs> Proper question. Like I was, uh, I was in Kuwait for like a week or so, and the last day I was there, there was a guy who was an an Egyptian guy. He was giving me a ride, like a lift, to my air, to the airport to catch my flight. And he didn't know that that I was born. Speak in Arabic, I don't know what. He told me, bro, how did you speak? How did you learn how to speak better than us? I said, what? You know me since like a week, and you thought I just learned Arabic? Subhanallah. Always do the far left, obviously. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Simian Panda is nari. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> هل تعرف صدام حسين؟ طبعا هذه أسئلة غريبة يا أخي سبحان الله كاريو is getting tough now bro
last stretch of cardio, a few minutes. You gotta do what you gotta do. Can I purge the plan if my left eye is squint? Why not? You don't train with your eye. Do you think Kai will compete? Really me, I don't remember the last time I spoke to Kai. Maybe a year or more. I'm on the stair masters, brother, stair masters. Me do. Thought on art? Depends on the art. Use loot BMW as a daily driver? Yeah. My daily driver is a BMW, so. Where am I from? Allison. I'm from Canada. I'm in Canada. Maybe you you mean where originally I'm from? North Africa. Now she would be puzzled. How come you're African and you look white ish? أنت تجيد اللغة العربية أكثر مني أنا طبعا لأني عربي مئة بالمئة <تصفيق> ولما لا يعني هل أنت أعرب مني أنا من عرب عاربة وعرب عدنان وبنو قحطان What language do you speak? About four Alison Four or five it depends Now listen, it's easy to assume, to assume your origin because your name is Dutch, so you are Dutch. No, I'm driving a, an automatic since, since more than a year. Frankly, I love it. I do not miss manual. I think I'm getting old. And automatic is so good nowadays. What do you think of transgenders competing in another biological gender sports? I think it's a, a phenomenon. They have to adapt to it. I think women should not complain because women, they ask for this. They're called, uh, uh, I forgot the name of that specific tendency of feminism, intersectional feminism. They basically promote these ideas that gen there is no gender. Gender is a social construct. Women, most feminists promote that. So I have no idea why they're complaining now since Biological men are competing in their sport and winning. They cannot assume their gender. So I think it's all cool. Myself, I can go tomorrow and and uh, and play in, in a women's sport and I will win. They cannot complain because they championed that cause. So it's gender equality. And gender is a social construct. They're, they have been preaching that for, for, for decades. So why complain? If these guys identify as gender fluid or as, a, as women, more power to them. You cannot assume their gender. It is what it is. Thank you, Alison. Yeah, hard to assume my origin, Alison, I, I do confess. I did a genetic test and they said I'm mostly uh, Irish. <laughs> Go figure. Never been to Ireland. Have you ever trained with clients? Not in real life, I would train on my, on my own. I never have a, a gym partner. Is that a woman would you marry? No, I will never get married, obviously. Not in a Western society. With all due respect, I think I spoke about this lengthily. I think it's, it's an outdated concept. Not only that, it is dangerous. Obviously, you can lose all your assets. You can lose your kids. Hey, child support, alimony. I think it's a raw deal. I think the odds are, are stacked against you if you get married. But if you want to do it, more power to you. I don't preach against it, but I don't promote it. But as for me, as a personal opinion, uh-uh, <laughs> I will never get married legally. Why do I have to involve the state if I'm okay? If I'm cool with the chick? You tell me, why do you have to involve the state and sign paper with them, right? I don't have to involve a third party. Do, you, do I want kids? What, well, Alison, naturally every human being wants to reproduce, but the conditions have to be ideal. Frankly, I don't think they're ideal nowadays to have kids. Kids do not belong to you nowadays, right? They belong to the state one way or the other. There is a gentleman actually, a guy in my country, Canada, British uh, Columbia, uh, he has been sued 
because he referred to his daughter as being a girl because I think she's like eight and she I I don't know uh, the psychiatrist said I think that she is, she identifies as uh, as a boy or thing like that and he, he said she's my daughter and he's being sued for that so the father is not allowed to call his his kid with her biological sex so yeah which means your, your, your kids do not belong to you. <laughs> There's another guy in the UK, he's being forced to pay for the sex change of his child, so, so that's that. No, I don't think that your kids belong to you nowadays, one way or the other. Indirectly, they're being raised by another party, by social media, by mainstream and so on and so forth, the culture, and uh, you can't win, it's a lose-lose situation. So that's that. And obviously I'm a conservative, I have all values. I do accept the fact that I'm becoming a minority nowadays. My ideas and my, uh, basically my, my, my ways are totally old, if not uh, Neanderthal-like, but I accept that. So let bygone be bygone and let me get extinct. I'm not gonna extend in this, but I'm also a believer in God. So for me, there is this life and there is the next one. So let it be I don't have to indulge nor engage with this with today's society so uh, that's that the family has been overrun by the state by everything actually the uh, the narrative nowadays is definitely liberal and uh, there are certain things I don't I don't agree with I'm definitely traditionalist and uh, yeah I know that Millennials, more or less, they're getting more to the left, more liberal, and there's no way of stopping that tendency. As a matter of fact, there was a, a small study lately, they showed some, uh, not old, but two decades old, very famous series, like the series of uh, Friends or Seinfeld, which were very popular in my time, and they showed them to today's generation, and they got triggered. They said, this is racist, this is sexist, this is unacceptable, they get triggered. So yeah, jokes that were okay, like nearly two decades ago, right now, they're, too, they're deemed too offensive and too triggering. And that's that, so uh, yeah, what can I tell you? It is what it is, so it is the era, and thank God I'm getting old, so I'm okay with that. My, my time, actually I'm, I'm from a different epoch, and that bygone, you bygone, and uh, when, I, when I'll be gone, I'll be gone. I mean. I will not look back on this world. You should post more pics of you. I try, I try, uh, Alice. <laughs> but, uh, I'm at the gym, I, I go like incognito, but quite soon, hopefully, God willing, I'll have my own gym at home, so I'll take my pictures at home. Right, when I'm here at the gym, I talk to nobody. What's up, fool? So uh, that's that. I mean, call them snowflakes, whatever, but these guys have been brought this way so it's easy to be judgmental with them but if you put yourself in their shoes you know me if I talk to my nephew it's a different gener generation I mean the narrative they teach them at school since they were young it's just insane so it's like you know what I mean so yeah that's the way they're being raised and it's signs of the time signs of the time like right, right, right now I don't even dare speaking to a girl who's like 20 or 21 and there are a lot of them that contact me, but the cleavage, I mean, the, uh, the separation is so wide. Uh, there is a proper generational gap. I cannot run on the same body. They are totally different things. And back in the day, I was like really in, like I was really, you know, social with people. But nowadays, dear me, good luck. It's quite touchy, man. It's quite touchy. What's up, Saudi Arabia? How long do you fast in Canada? I don't know, about 16 hours? How old, are, how old am I, Kim? I'm 44. As an older millennial, I'm ashamed of my generation. Well, don't be ashamed. Take it as it is. I mean, take it as it is. I mean, accept it and I roll with it. Nothing wrong with being a date in 20. Well, I was dating a girl. She was like 24. That was my last one. It was uh, about a year ago. I don't know, but I'm not saying that every 21 individual is, is, is the same, but for me, I have other priorities now, right? And uh, we'll see how it goes. 
I listen, it would be ideal if I found uh, a 21 year old who has a house like myself, has her car, no debt, and she's really independent and uh, right? That would be less risky for me and for her. I think this is the ideal situation nowadays in a Western society. If somebody wants to date, everybody stays at, at his own place and uh, you do your own thing, you meet up and uh, that's it. I think it's the ideal thing. It's very easy to, to do that for me because nowadays there's a lot of single women out there and they have their own house, usually after a proper divorce. <laughs> but for now, I'm, I'm quite occupied doing other things, other ventures. Keanu Reeves could drive a bus through the cleavage gap. Good, good call. Uh, Dating is haram, dear Amy, you're 96 and you, uh, you were born in 96 and you tell me that? Hmm. It's not haram, dude. If I get married with somebody, it's my business. The way I do it is also my business. And certainly not, she will judge me for that. Or, or please do, because I don't care. For me, to, to be with somebody, it's like I'm marrying that person. I think if there's some witnesses, I'm, I'm happy to interpret. I will never involve the state and sign a paper. Please, the state, allow me to date this person. Are you crazy? Wow, تبدو في العشرين شكرا. بارك الله فيك أو فيكي. الله أعلم إن كنت إمرأة أو رجل. Ton opinion sur Fahd Karwani? Je le connais pas, fils. Je le connais pas. Fahd Karwani, je le connais pas. Désolé. Désolé. This team is absolutely positively empty. Ni shafik Louis yqoul andik 20 sana. Ha ha. Barak Allah fik khoya rak shabab yatik saha. Radwan. Radwan hada min min al Maghrib. Andik accent ta ta al Maghrib. Barak Allah fik. Ain al Warud arid. Papa. How many languages do you speak? About five. Louis, my man, how's it going, brother? Hey, just came in. Yes, here. Sub essay, Matthias Vidal. Half one. Barakallahu fikum. Thank you guys. What languages is that? Uh, the, the latest one? It was a kind of a dialect. It was uh, more of a North African dialect. It's sort of a, a mix of, of everything. Only people from the Northern African countries can understand it. Algerians, Moroccans, and Tunisians usually. Uh, gym music is saluted? I don't know, brother. I have this. I'm in my bubble, 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 bubble jet bonanza. Jim U is exploited and exploited by Latino culture, cultural appropriation. <laughs> yeah, sounds good when you speak other languages. Thank you. It sounds really cool. Thank you. Marhaban big All right, guys, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Stay positive, whomever you are. Thank you for being here, uh, ladies and gents. Be saluted. Be proud of who you are, even if you're some sort of an old school entity in this crazy world. Hold on to your beliefs. Try to share something positive, as you notice. Thankfully, thank God, I was able to make a video of 20 minutes without cursing, without you know exchanging some bad vibes. Because right right now there are these mediums, which are social media, and they will get crazier next year by the advent of 5G. God knows what kind of app uh, will be created. You can see uh, nowadays with 4G, there is this Tinder, this kind of meetup app. I don't know about it. Thankfully, I don't use them. But just imagine with 5G it will be so fast what kind of things they will invent unfortunately when technology advance it's mostly used for for bad things so it's always the good vibes are always overrun by the bad vibes because it brings the bad side of human nature when somebody is at home that that person thinks he is alone right so he's covered under the anonymity anonymity so they can use that their their basic they can let go of their basic instincts, unfortunately, and it exacerbates that, and it's a snowball effect. And this is why, I mean, listen, I'm talking to, this, to, to these women, but in, in real life, you cannot talk to these women like this. Because there is so much, the dynamic between the two genders is so toxic nowadays, unfortunately, mostly due to this uh, social media, right? I mean, these girls, I don't know, but they can uh, testify. Probably they, they receive like a hundred message in their DM per day if they have like, attractive picture so put yourself in their shoes uh, God, God bless a girl if she's attractive because God bless her she's like, it's like a drug right? she would have that validation dynamic like 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 and she knows she goes on social media she posts a picture and there she would have like a thousand likes it would be like a drug it's more than crack cocaine so God bless them
But if you're a minority that do not indulge in this, God, God bless you and keep up your, your I mean, your, your value as well. That's it. God bless you. Be saluted. Talk to you soon and happy to share this good vibe with you, right? It's easy to share bad things, but it was a proper trainness, hopefully, of, of good vibes. God bless. Be saluted. Talk to you very soon. Have a nice one. God bless you all.